is Pradeep and I'm here with my team members Arti, Shilpi, Smita and we are, we are doing a project on software defined networking and how we can secure the communication between control plane and the data plane. So currently we are using uh, just OpenFlow which is unencrypted anyone can see it. So to start the project uh, let's start with the floodlight. So this is the controller which we have. So let's just check what's the IP address here. So it's 172.16.150.140. That's the IP address of the controller that we'll be using. So we are using Mininet uh, to uh, connect to the controller and to make the basic topology. So let's go into the Mininet. So this is the Mininet and uh, let's check the IP address here. All right. So let's just make sure everything is reachable just to, to see if they have if we have basic connectivity uh, dot 50 dot 140 okay so it's reachable so it's good so let's go ahead and start the mininet uh, we'll use this command sudo mn controller remote so what it does is it it will connect to this controller using this ip and it will create a topology with the uh, single and single topology with three host all right so it's adding it okay that's done uh, let's move to the uh, flood light uh, now here so what what we're gonna do here is we'll start the capture on the flood light controller basically on the ethernet so whatever we are seeing on the ethernet we'll be capturing it using the wireshark so let's run what a shock okay hold on that so we are listening on eth0 okay. so you can see there are a lot of open flow packets that's been going on right now let's go back to the uh, uh, mini net and let's just do a basic ping all oh, so it, what it does it will just start a ping for all the destination from each host uh, let's go back to the yeah here so let's start stop the capture and let's try to analyze it let's maximize it okay so here we can see that these are the open flow capture which are going uh, through the controller so whenever host one wants to communicate to host two it will first go to switch and switch will send it to a controller based on that it would be routed accordingly so let's just take a picture let's, let's take a look at any of the packet here so for example this one so we can see it's going from the destination 132 to 140 which is basically switched to the controller and then uh, we have a open flow protocol inside it's uh, echo request going and uh, and prior to that let's see what else we have so here again there's another capture for echo I'm trying to find a packet which is which will show which port it needs to take to okay let me just save this and, and save it okay I have a capture which is saved on my screen so we will use that Okay, so here is the capture. So let's try to analyze it. So we can see that the host one, which is 10001, try to communicate over to dot two, and there's an open flow packet. So inside the open flow, what it goes is that this is the source, this is the destination. And what we are trying to do is we are sending just a ping which is basically ICMP so we can see it's not that secured I mean if we have a if you have someone listening to the packets he can easily 
learn what the two parties are trying to do and then he can inject traffic according to his need he want he can divert it or you know he can do whatever he wants so the basic idea here what we are trying to do is instead of sending open flow unencrypted we will be creating a ipsec tunnel between two between host i'm sorry between switch and the controller which would make these uh, this communication encrypted so every packet would be authenticated and encrypted that way we won't see open flow it would go inside the tunnel and that would be a a better design so that's what, what we are trying to do that's what we will be uh, doing in the next project so our aim would be to create ipsec tunnel uh, check the connectivity and uh, see how the traffic is going and if we can if you are able to uh, see the ipsec packet that means it's been encrypted and then uh, once that is done, we will go ahead and uh, start the. Uh, uh, we'll see how we can integrate it using the code. But since this is a simulated network, uh, I'm not sure how it's gonna work. But uh, we'll try to integrate it in the code, uh, so that we don't have to create IPsec tunnel like individually on the uh, switch and the controller. So that's all. Uh, that's all from us. Thank you.